guys so welcome back to another video so tomorrow i have a tournament and uh, i've been seeing um, a lot of stuff on the on youtube about the ball test with salt uh, i have done it in the past and to my surprise i had i found that indeed there is some balls that are not balanced there's a guy um called um, miles martin uh, golf i'll put a link below so you can check him out he's doing some tests with uh some golf balls and he has consistently found defects, uh, unbalanced balls on many, many, many uh, different type of brands. So I don't want to be paranoid, but I, w I feel like I have to test uh, the golf balls I'm going to play, the, uh, especially in a tournament. So I think, you know, if it's going to cost me a stroke, if maybe I have like a six footer and if I miss it because it's my fault, then it's fine. But if I'm missing it because the ball is not well balanced, I think that's unacceptable. Okay, so the test is pretty straightforward. You add salt, a lot of salt actually. You mix it up really well, wait until it dissolves. Um, I'm going to be testing 12 Bridgestones E6. I will do a review this on these balls later on in the channel. So basically what I'm looking for here is um all you gotta do is just dump the ball <clears throat> so now when, when they start floating you um get a little marker i'm gonna use the pencil because i don't want to uh you know play with a dot on the ball so what i'm gonna do is i let it float like you see there and then once it's, it's stable then you grab the ball and then you draw your uh you put a, a a marking on it so in this case i'm using a pencil you can do it with a marker as well but simply just mark it as long as it's visible then it's fine and then what you do is you put it back on and you just um kind of um, flip it around just move it around make sure you move it around a couple times and then basically what will happen is it will uh, settle at a certain point like you see here you can already see this ball right here is settling right at the dot so this is not good I shake it around a, a, a little more here and you will see that uh, it's gonna go back to that spot so basically uh, that means that this ball is not well balanced is uh, there's more weight in one side of the ball so now I don't know how this is gonna how this could affect your your trajectory your potting I don't know I don't know if I will feel comfortable playing with balls like this. So anyways, as you can see here, it still is going back to the same spot. So. Okay guys, so I did the testing and very, very disappointed. Uh, basically, there were only five good balls, meaning that they um, settle at different spots every time. Then there were four bad ones, really bad ones, so like you saw in the first one. And then three that were random. Sometimes they settle at the spot, sometimes they settle at a different spot. So, you know, if you watch uh, Miles Martin uh, Golf, is one of his videos on this one, he'll, he, he tests many, many other brands and he found the same thing. So now at this point, you know, I'm gonna play my tournament. I don't know um, if it's gonna affect my game or what. I don't really know what this means. I mean, it's hard to believe. I really like Bridgestones, as you can see, I got the E12, the E6, and I'm really surprised to find this, um, I guess, not well balanced bo uh, ball so for me it's really hard to believe that manufacturers are you know giving out these balls right here or maybe you're not even going to notice it i don't know but to me it feels like there's more weight one side so it kind of feels like that may affect the trajectory of the ball maybe you know it'll go right or left more than it should maybe it will when you're putting uh it'll it'll you know just shift towards the right or left a little more than it should so anyways what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna uh, i selected the uh the best balls and i'm gonna play with them and maybe i will do a comparison between some bad balls and some good balls and see if there is a um, a difference all right guys so i did play a tournament i tried the good balls the ones that separate them uh that were well balanced uh i did okay my tournament not particularly well because it was a mountain course so there was a lot of hills i did try to pay attention uh to see if my shots were more in line um i didn't really to be honest i didn't really notice much difference uh, as to you know playing before um i could say maybe i didn't have i didn't really slice the ball or hook the ball like really really bad i can say that but again i think it, that's gonna be hard to prove we're all i'm disappointed though with the results of the of the bridgestone uh, package that i got to, from 12 volts only fives were, were well balanced. I mean, I don't know maybe if professionals, they get a different batch from the same manufacturer, 
at this point that may be the case because uh, I don't think um, they um, they will have the same balls that we have um, that are not well balanced uh, because even the if you watch uh, Miles Martin golf the same thing probably once it doesn't matter what kind of ball premium or not they there are some balls that are not well balanced so I don't think a professional is, is gonna take that risk uh, or maybe it doesn't mean anything maybe uh, the salt water test doesn't really mean anything but um, it feels like uh, it must mean something because it, it tends to prefer the floating ball tends to prefer one side so it, it, that means that there's more weight in one side so if you think about it you know this ball the, the balls are small and that could be a factor for the ball to move more to one side or to another so i'm just um, a little you know i'm disappointed and then also you know no one talks about this so i wonder maybe if perhaps it's not that important but anyways um that was my those were the results um again i didn't really see anything uh, in particular with the well-balanced balls i did play okay shots were straight uh, a few to the right right or left nothing extreme obviously but you know, I, I'm not going to tell you that it's because it was a well-balanced ball. I did hold one long putt, so that was good. And overall, that was it. Uh, I think in the future, it will be interesting to see a test, um, do like a comparison. Uh, but anybody does that test, it's going to be hard to replicate the same swing twice or the same putt twice. So um, that will be a difficult test as well. So I think the only way to do it will be if you have like a machine and then you put a balance ball and and a bad ball and then that's the only way you can test it i think in my opinion so but anyways i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching guys until next time